Hey guys, take a look at the video guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the depth effect doesn't show up, it's grayed out, or doesn't work for your iPhone if you're looking to add it to a wallpaper that you're looking to add. So let's get started. So first thing is you have to understand that the death effect here has a couple requirements. First requirement is that your iPhone has to be on iOS 16 or later for it to be able to use that feature, which is, means that your iPhone has to be iPhone SE second generation or later or iPhone XR or later in order to be able to use that. Also your wallpaper that you have that you're trying to use does have to have a foreground in a way that it can actually take advantage of that. So those are a couple requirements you want to do. So now the first thing is that when it comes to doing that is ensuring that your phone that you have is up to date on iOS 16. You can check by going to your settings, general, and then software update and see if there's an update available for you. If there's an update available, go ahead and update it. You can also come to about and see here the version of your iPhone. So it has to be iOS 16 or later. So ensure that your iPhone 16 or later. Now after that, in order to use the depth effect on your screen is that you have to go ahead and set it for a wallpaper that you want to do. So if you go in your settings here, then you go to wallpaper and then you add a photo here. Let's say I want to add a photo here. I select the photo that I like. And then what sometimes you want to do is maybe you can go ahead and crop by using your two fingers. You can crop the image so that you can get it to the right position and then check to see if you get that depth effect feature available. And sometimes because the phone doesn't recognize the foreground photo, it might not show it there. So again, it's all about kind of working the of the photo that you're looking to do in different ways that allows the phone to be able to see it. The other thing I'm gonna say is that if you have any of these widgets, so these kind of widgets in the way, sometimes those widgets can actually impact for you to use the def effect. As you can see here, when I put on those your you widget, the def effect here grayed out. It doesn't work for me, so I have to remove those widgets if I wanna take advantage of the def effect. So in order to do that, I can just click on these widgets and then the remover icon or the minus icon will be there so I just use that click on it and remove them just like that and once I remove them I see here that the def effect now is available again for us so that's something to try now if you find a wallpaper that you're trying to do and it doesn't simply work with the def effect it might just be the photo itself and I recommend trying with a different photo and it happens here I have a photo here that I thought is a really good uh, example for it but when I go for def effect it simply doesn't work no matter how much or whatever I try to do it just simply doesn't work and that's going to be the case for some uh, photos that you have just won't be able to take advantage of that unfortunately. Now the other thing you also want to check out in your phone is that might help is that the format of the photo that you're trying to put as a wallpaper. For example, I have this photo here and once you have a photo if you click on if you click tap on it, right you can swipe up this way to get info about it or click on that eye icon. But if you swipe up here, it will give you the format of the uh, the photo here. as you can see this one is the HI. FE. So a lot of times we said of the two format that works the best is uh, JPEG. So if you have a JPEG photo that works best and again the phones that you take with um, HEIC ones are usually those are the two ones that you want to have. If you have different format of the file I recommend using a converter. There's a lot of converters online. You can search up convert photo to JPEG or HEIC. Those will be allowed and then see if that also helps for you. Now after you have done that and you're still having issues, it's time to go ahead and try to force restart your iPhone. In order to force restart your iPhone, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold this side button here till the screen goes completely black. So volume up and down, volume down, and then I'm going to hold this side button. And you're going to keep on holding that side button until the screen goes completely black and we see the Apple logo reappear and at that time we'll let go of that button. So I'm keeping on holding on that side button and Apple logo shows up, I let go of that button. And what we have done is completely shut down the phone, have it reload the code so if there's a software related issue, bug glitches impacting that feature from not working for us, hopefully after the forced restart, it will work for us again. So once you're back on, you should be able to check it out and see if you can go into your settings and get that def effect for the wallpaper that you're looking to do. So that's it for this troubleshooting step. I hope one of these troubleshooting step help you guys fix that issue. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.